and get some good progress today. I got the uh, some of the panels done. They also finished uh, the rear door floor, so that's all done. And, uh, what I did also is I I shortened the wire for the winch because it doesn't need to be that long, and I uh, I made one, two, three, four panels so far. That's the cutout for the window. I still have to put uh, 50 tau aluminum sheet on the outside of this on the back as well. All right, so the trailer is all skinned. I installed the windows and doors. I'm gonna start at the front. I still have to put the uh, the trim corners. There are a piece of the angle aluminum angle that I'm gonna paint black, and then I'm gonna screw them onto the sides. But the lights are all installed. I installed the water um, input, as well as this is for the generator cord to go inside. The plumbing as well is installed. So on this side here, there's only one small window. And that's the whole reason why I chose the length of the trailer to be 19 feet 4 inches is because I can overlap the panels by 2 inches here. So I can just screw them. I'm going to add more screws here. I'm not completely done yet. And I also, I'm also going to make some sort of uh, bolt-on fender flares. Go to the outside. And the rear door is also complete. I put two panels and overlapped them and I also installed the lights and the uh, UHMW, the white plastic skid, they're all installed. Pretty happy with uh, how the rear door ended up being. Well, for the entrance door, I had a little bit of trouble with it. I bought this door from the, uh, from the wrecker. It was new when I bought it, and I'm kind of surprised that it was there, very good price. But the problem is the the door is actually crooked, and it wouldn't latch on properly. So I had to modify the, uh, the strike plate here, but I'm not completely happy with it. I'm going to remake another strike plate myself and bolt it in properly. But the inside is almost ready. So I bought a whole bunch of panels. Uh, uh, actually two panels to start building toolboxes and a whole bunch of uh, aluminum angle because I'm going to build a whole wall cabinet cabinets here. The lights are all installed and now today what I'm working on are the fenders. So this is one that is uh, ready and almost complete and ready to bolt on. I still have to glue uh, the plate that goes at the bottom here. It's not done yet but I wanted to show you how I bend the aluminum. So for bend bending the aluminum, I have built a couple years ago a homemade uh, press brake. Uh, pretty much made from scrap steel and I had some heavy duty hinges. I uh, kind of slide the plate over here. I have the marks where I want to bend it. And then this is an angle 316 that I uh, bolt down here and I just use the handles and I push it down. It works pretty good for about 1 8 aluminum and this is what I've been using. I spent all day today installing the awning for it. It's working okay. And yesterday I installed the trim. These are 1 8 uh, pieces of aluminum that I painted black and I installed the lights up top. Just a few more finishing details. The inside is uh, it's almost ready for me to start working on the cabinets and the toolbox. So I installed the, uh, the electrical for the awning today. And the fenders are all done. I, uh, I cocked the, uh, the fenders and the bottom edges. 
And I also added caulking to the roof as well. I still have a few, a little bit more electrical to do, and then I can start on the front uh, cabinets and generator compartment and the front toolbox. So I built the aluminum uh, switch blades. So I got uh, switches for the light, the pump, and the awning, and I also left space for additional switches later on. I'm pretty much done the wiring. Uh, you might still see some wires hanging out here, but uh, I ordered a master cutout switch for the battery, and, uh, but it hasn't showed up yet. For the awning on-off switch here, um, the awning came with a really nice illuminated switch, uh, but unfortunately it was made out of flimsy plastic and as I was installing it, it pretty much fell apart in my hand. Uh, luckily, I had a much heavier duty momentary on-off switch and I just uh, wired it on. It's just a reverse polarity, um, double pull, double throw, momentary switch. The water pump is installed and I need to build a battery tray next out of aluminum and I'll build a small compartment and vent it to the outside as the battery is charging. I haven't figured out yet if I'm gonna charge from the truck or put a solar panel, most likely put a solar panel on. And this is how the trailer looks like with the light on. It's pretty dark outside but it's pretty light inside and I'm pretty happy with these lights they were on sale and they turned out pretty pretty good mm -hmm. 